Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. Today, Oregon's Secretary of State answered questions about an alleged conflict of interest. Shamia Fagan says she ended her work as a consultant with a marijuana company. Blake Mayfield listened as Fagan explained her decision. The end of her consulting work comes after Fagan's office released an audit of the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission last week. She says she followed state ethics guidelines in taking the outside position to supplement her income. I owe the people of Oregon an apology. I owe the diligent professionals in my agency an apology. I am truly sorry. Oregon Secretary of State Shamia Fagan announced Monday she has quit her consultancy with a marijuana company. Fagan first signed the contract with Variety Holdings LLC back in February. The side job came under fire after Fagan's office released an audit of the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission. Fagan previously said she recused herself from the audit process. I exercised poor judgment by contracting with a company that is owned by my political donors and is regulated by an agency that was under audit by my audits division. Variety Holdings is an affiliate of La Moda, a cannabis chain whose owners have reportedly failed to pay millions of dollars in cannabis and federal income taxes and faced workplace complaints. Fagan's audit called for the OLCC to reform some rules for marijuana businesses, saying they are burdens when compared with federal restrictions on interstate commerce, banking, and taxation. I don't always get it right, but when I don't, I own it, I reflect and learn, and I seek to repair, and that's what I'm going to be doing with Oregonians for the next two years. Former Bend mayor and current News Channel 21 political analyst Jeff Eager says he would not be surprised if Fagan has to resign. In Oregon, the only way for someone to leave office, aside from being unelected, is to resign. We don't have impeachment uh, in Oregon, so uh, if she's going to go, she, in all likelihood, she's going to resign. Eager also said he would not be surprised if Oregon voters remember this story if she runs for re-election. It's rare in Oregon for a statewide elected official to be so roundly um, kind of uh, covered in a negative way by the media, which she is. According to the contract, Fagan was to be paid $10,000 per month by Variety Holdings with bonuses of $30,000 for successfully landing a cannabis license in any state other than Oregon or New Mexico. Fagan earns $77,000 per year as the Secretary of State, one of four statewide elected offices in Oregon. How do you plan and what do you plan to do to gain back the trust of Oregon voters? You know, I think the first step to rebuilding trust is to admit when you've broken trust in the first place. And, um, and that's what I'm here to do today. Fagan says she took the consulting gig due to her salary of $77,000 a year as Secretary of State, not being enough to make ends meet. As Secretary of State, Fagan is first in line to replace the governor should they resign or die in office. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.